I will be hearing from Patty Smith, who will be talking about the Braille Embossinator, technology for the visually impaired and disabled. Can you hear me? Is it working? Can we? No? Is it better? Woo, okay, there we go. All right, thank you. I am Patty, and I am going to talk to you about the Embossinator, as well as Braille and technology for the visually impaired. It's actually called an embosser, but embossinator is sexier. So I kind of <laughs> As it says on the screen, I'm a teacher. That's my day job. I teach in a large urban district about 30 miles from here. Guess which one? And I teach Braille and technology of the, of the visually impaired to K through 8 students who are blind and visually impaired. It is an outstanding job, but that's me after a bad day. Oh, it's like a ghoul. Oh my god. Actually, that's me at Arcadia uh, Brewing Company in Battle Creek after like a two days. <laughs> that is how I look after a bad day sometimes. Oh, but no, it's a, it's a great job. Much of my job is teaching Braille, which was invented by this gentleman, Louis Braille. His birthday was, he was born 200 years ago this year. Um, gr and gruesomely, he lost uh, vision in one eye by puncturing it. The other one went to a disease so he couldn't read or write. So he invented the six dot system. The entire code is based on six raised dots. You get our language, you get other languages, you get higher level math, higher level science. It's absolutely amazing, all with just six dots. And that's the alphabet right there. There's someone reading Braille there. Um, interestingly, this was back in the 1800s. At the same time, Louis Braille was inventing his raised dot system. There was another guy whose name escapes me, but he also was inventing his own system of raised dots for the blind, leading to the war of the dots. And they had to figure out which one are we gonna use. Obviously Braille won uh, after he died. Um, so if anyone you know crosses over anytime soon, look up Lewis Braille in the afterlife and let him know, man, you won, good job. You can get lots of stuff in Braille. You can get a tattoo in Braille. I think that's a little gruesome, but I wanted to put it up there. Uh, you can get chocolate in Braille, you can get cookies in Braille. Braille's becoming hip and chic, which is good, I guess. But what do you do? You know, if, if you lose your vision, you, you're going blind, what is out there for you? Okay, well, Braille, obviously, okay. Um, so the first question, how do we get Braille from our, our head onto paper? You use a machine called a Perkins Brailler, which looks like an old fashion manual typewriter, which my kids have no idea what that means, but we know because we're old, and that's what it looks like. You see the six dots, and that's how you get it onto, from your head onto the paper. You use one of those machines. You can also use a closed circuit, uh, cl uh, closed circuit TV. You put what you're looking at underneath there, it blows it up. You can make it one word per screen, whatever you want. Make it blue, make it white on black, whatever. Very helpful for low vision. There's also screen enlargers. The young lady looking at Google there, um, it basically does what it says. It makes your computer screen larger any size you need. It does enlarge everything, including but not limited to porn ads, as I found out as I was giving my kids a lesson on Google. <laughs> there is Braille note. That is just like the Brailler, except that you can actually put a USB in the back of that and read an entire book. Where his hands are there, that's refreshable Braille. You can read an entire book and use it to take notes in the class that you happen to be in. JAWS is a screen reader. It does what it says. It reads your computer screen. Um, it was invented in 1978-ish, and they did name it after the movie. Um, and it does read everything on your screen, including, but not limited to, ads for penis enlargement, as I found out. <laughs> Hockey GPS is great for people, you know, you, you, people like me who don't know where I'm going, and people who are visually impaired. It tells you what streets you're on, the nearby businesses. Um, you put in your... Put it, you know, it hooks up, put it in your ear, there you go. There's our embosser. That embosser allows me, as a teacher of the blind, to type regular text into a program, hit a button, hit another button, and that thing prints out Braille. It is amazing and it makes my job doable. Um, that's the, that machine is the Sarah. You see Grandma put her book on that. The Sarah will read it to you or make it larger. All this stuff is in, used in my job. My job is awesome for so many reasons. It's a fantastic job. There's three of them, my gangster boys up there. They're not, they're not badass. They're the sweetest kids you can possibly imagine. But there are three other reasons why my job is very cool um, and why I love teaching kids and everyone 
about Braille and uh, technology. And that's really how I usually look after the end of the day. <laughs> there, it's the same beer trip, but it's uh, at Dark Horse, same three-day beer trip. But anyway, but that is how I usually look after a long day because my job, for the most part, the adults, but the kids are great and I love it. And that's me. That's a chocolate Braille. It says thank you in Braille. If I had the foresight, I would have bought them to give out to you, but just pretend. And I'm Teacher Patty on Twitter. There's my email. Thank you, Ryan, and thank you, everyone. So. Yeah.